Welcome back guys to another video. We have a nice trade opportunity of step index. I would want us to have a look on it together. So do it to stay to the end of the video to get every detail on this analysis. So whenever I want to analyze the market to start from the higher time frame, it can be the day time frame, the weekly time frame, the monthly time frame, or preferably the weekly time frame. So we can be able to identify the overall market structure, spot our levels and zones. So on the weekly time frame on step index, we have this level as a key level, a key zone basically. You've seen the past market reaction on this level. This level was a support level in the past. There was a reaction on this level as a support. Market came back to this same level again, bought from it. So there's a possibility of the market buying from this level again, which it did at this point. So being able to predict market moves and direction by identifying past market moves will give us an edge in the market. So this is the past market move the market gives. This is historical buy level. So there's a possibility of the market coming back to this level to buy from this level because we saw the market buy up from here in the past. So that's it basically. We have identified our key level of support. We have this level as a level of resistance. So you see how the market bought from here as a support. This level was once a support, turned resistance. Hit the buy from here as a support. Market broke below it. Support level turned resistance. They retest on this level. The market sold from this zone. So after the sell from this level, we got a break out of this zone. You know, there was a break out of this level. Then they retest on it. There was a break and retest on this level. Resistance level at this point turned support. You know, this level has even a key level basically. We've seen the market reaction on it at this point so we have the market approaching this particular zone so if the market can buy from here as a support sell from as a resistance buy from as a support the possibility of the market selling from here as a resistance because the market is trading below this level and we have this trend resistance at this point basically we have this trend resistance we've seen how the market has been reacting on this level of resistance this trend level of resistance market suit from here as a resistance so for as a resistance because on trend lines we have our support level and our resistance level and we have this level too as a support trend we have the market Reacting on this level as a support trend. You see the market buy from as a support, came back to this level again, bought from it. So the possibility of the market selling from this level, this horizontal level of resistance and our trend resistance. So that's the market structure on the weekly time frame. So let's head down to the daily time frame to support our market formation and zones. So in daily time frame, you've seen that the market has been reacting on this level as a key level. Market bought from as a support, bought from as a support. And we've seen that the market is giving us an inverted head and shoulders pattern, which is a nice bullish reversal formation, a nice bullish reversal pattern. You've seen the left shoulder at this point, the right shoulder and the head at this zone. We have this little downtrend that got broken on the daily time frame. Market has been creating lower highs and lower lows at this point. You know, market has been a downtrend at this particular zone, creating lower highs and lower lows. We got the market to create a high at this point. There was a low here, a high, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low. Now we got the last lower high at this point that took out this level so there was a break of market structure at this point there was a break of market structure at this one because there was a break and close below this last level now we have seen the market give us a clear break of this zone so this is basically a key level we have to identify because we've seen the market react from here as a resistance came back to the same level again react from here as a resistance now we got a clear break of this level of resistance so there's a possibility of us getting a retest on this level let's extend it there's a possibility of getting a retest on this level for a good buy to the upside for at least a continuation to this point for a good buy to this our trend resistance and our horizontal level of resistance remember we identify this level as a level of resistance on the weekly time frame we identify this level as a level of resistance so let's watch out for more buys in the coming hours and days on step index basically our target level is at this particular level our level of resistance trend resistance and horizontal resistance so that's it for the daily time frame we are expecting a retest on this level for the good buys to the upside we are looking out to buying step index at this point, they are looking out to buy step index at this level of resistance that got broke on turn support. So let's watch out for the buys at that particular zone. Market chart giving us a test on this level, but it failed, you know. So we have to expect the proper retest on this zone for the good buys. And we have this trend support as well. Market has been creating higher highs and high lows at this zone. You've seen the high the market from the market from the a low at this point. There was a low at this point. There was another low, a higher low, a higher low, a higher low. So there was a break of this level. This higher low structure is a bullish formation, is a bullish structure which gave the market the breakout of this our level of resistance. So we have to expect the market to give us a proper retest on this level of support, this horizontal level of resistance broken turn support. So this is a support level at the moment because the market broke out of it. So let's check our Fibonacci retracement from the swing lows to the swing highs to check our possible level of retracement. So we have this. 61.8 level at this point as a possible zone we could expect a market reaction on let's identify this 61.8 level at this point we have a 61.8 level here so let's watch out for this zone for a good buy if you have to get a retracement on step index so that's it basically looking out for a good retracement at this point let's get the market give us a sell to the downside to test this our trend support and our horizontal level of support then looking out for the good buys from this zone 
to the upside in the coming days and hours on step index so that's my analysis basically that's my outlook on step index i'm bullish short term but i'm expecting the market reaction at this point i'm expecting the market to react at this zone because we have a level of resistance a key level basically our trend level of resistance and our horizontal level of resistance so let's expect the buys short term so we're looking at to buy step index on the retest of this horizontal level of support it's a couple of confirmations at this zone on the lower time frame like the one hour time frame yeah so if we can get the market give us a retest on this zone on this level we'll be buying step index at this particular zone at this blue line so let's watch close on price action so short term we're expecting the sales to this zone and the buys in the coming days and our but long term let's look out for market reaction at this point for the sales to the downside so that's my analysis on step index price action basically identify my levels and zones spotting the market key levels and zones and taking note of market movement so smash the like button for more videos like this and subscribe if you need to turn on to my tiny viewers i appreciate your support for always engaging my videos it really means a lot let's do more guys and do have a wonderful day peace